hey guys namaste this is sachin joshi for cgtaskplus.com and welcome to my another video tutorial on how to assemble and disassemble of an object like in this video okay so this is the video what we are going to learn today okay so let's see the result All right, so first of all, uh, you need to have a good 3D model. Okay, so in my case, uh, I, uh, a friend of mine uh, kindly uh, provide me this uh, 3D camera model, uh, which was actually built inside Maya. So what I did was export the model to FBX file format and import inside 3D Studio Max. Okay, so. If you can build by yourself that's good or simply you can ask for a friend like I did okay so we'll import our model okay so let's first clean up our model as it was built from the external application like Maya so first of all let's uh, take this and put this on our surface of our grid and I have some couple of helpers which I don't need uh, which you can simply uh, select from our selection object list and delete it okay and also uh, I think uh, I have some couple of uh, normal issues I can easily fix by just applying the normal modifier and just copy and uh, paste and also have uh, the smooth thing is still the black uh, shade okay which you can easily uh, locate by just applying the smooth modifier okay Okay, see for your model okay and just hit normal hit speed smooth modifier oops uh, I think it's the normal only all right so I think our model is ready to go for the next step uh, let's convert to a total polygon one more time okay uh next step is to uh, select uh, everything and just make a quick selection set camera model all right so that is good and another step is to uh, center pivot each and every element of our model okay so this is necessary well so uh, yeah you know uh, uh I forgot to mention you. You need to have this uh, your uh, elements uh, separately modeled, otherwise the effect won't uh, work as it's supposed to be. Okay, see, everything's thing are modeled separately. Okay, they are not attached. All right, so we have uh, centered the pivot. Uh, another step is to select one more time all the objects go to the utility and hit on reset X form and reset selected okay so this is an essential step uh, for this uh, effect to create all right so uh, X form is created and just one more time convert to a tail polygon so we have our history cleared all right so next thing is uh rename our model okay so you know it's an every element uh like uh, this one is poly surface 19 uh, okay and this one is something like trip type or poly surface tree, you know uh like random names okay so we need to have one specific name okay followed by a number or so okay so what we can do is uh 
select all the objects and go to tools and uh, rename object all right so in my case i will choose uh, camera and just for, for the base name and just hit on numbered okay and just hit rename all right so renaming is, in, is done so what it did was rename every each and every element uh, name camera as our base and every elements uh, are numbered okay so here uh, we can see the yeah, camera 0 to so we have all together 69 elements okay 69 objects right so this is done uh, next step is to you know uh, create the particle flow system okay uh, actually uh, we need to convert this model into particle okay so uh, 3d max uh, default p flow system don't have uh, operator or node to change uh, any objects to particle okay so thinking particle have and also you no know, uh, p4 blocks to ha have okay but group operator so so we can assess uh, we can change uh, uh, the object into particle through max script okay so I'm not a good script or you no know. so what I did was just simply uh, copy from the website uh, from uh, this site okay so this script was made by mr. Bobo yeah he's also the man behind the Krakatoa okay so this is our bot script okay so you just need to copy and paste it in notepad and save it as a dot ms file format all right so what first let's uh, build our particle flow yeah first hit click on empty flow and second one is to create the bot script and link it to the pf source one all right so under the bot script hit on edit script okay so i already have copied and save it as a dot ms file format what we do is on the script file open and uh, double click on bot script so here is our bot script file okay so what simply you need to do to convert this particle to an uh, sorry object to a particle is to rename this global chunks dot array is called dollar cam as array to you know your initial name like uh, what I did in this rename object board okay, all right so what I is it is is camera right so here is the cam what we need to add is camera all right so save it and uh, let's see the result so uh, you can see the red dots okay so let me show you this one easily see uh, you can see the orange uh, circles okay so uh, uh, let me hide this model because so that you can easily see all right so here is our particle okay so it's easily convert our 3d object into particle so what simply we need to do is uh, change the display type to geometry all right so here is our 3d particle object okay cool so the possibility is endless right the next step is now uh, to create the event so that it can know what to do okay so uh, let's quickly uh, build the deflector
Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also let me do ball and let me have the timeline of 500. And simply uh, quickly animate the deflector going from top to bottom. Alright, just touching the particles. Alright, okay. So, next step is to create the event. Uh, yeah, so this is the flutter. This is the collision event. Okay, so hit the collision and under collision, choose our deflector. Okay, so on the collide uh, type, change it to continue. We don't need to bounce or anything like that. Okay, so when it collide, so we can uh, define the new event let's say uh, only uh, we can define let's say change the display type to geometry but change the color to green okay so let's quickly apply the speed operator speed uh, icon arrow so let hit the reverse and just you, you should uh, play with the values by yourself okay so like that no so when it collide uh, it goes to next event and the next event next event is our know the speed okay so to give a bit of dynamic uh, motion we, we what we do is uh, apply the force you know and one drag let's send the parameters okay like I do or use play with your own values and for the drag let it time to 500 and XYZ to linear damping to 5 all right so let's choose the force operator and choose our win Mm. all right so let's give uh let's say let's say this and also what i will do is don't play it real time so that i can have a good play black alright so uh, what I can do is uh, decrease the influence okay so that wind is not affected too much and also one more time apply the drag modifier drag sorry space warp alright so next thing is uh, uh, make it possible if we don't enter penetrate uh, uh, no, to keep apart our model so what we can do is uh, keep uh, uh, add a uh, keep apart uh, operator where is that keep apart Alright, so here is the keeper part. Okay, so 
I think uh, this default value is okay. And also the one more, more operator that is pin. Okay. Maybe it can be random query or it can be speed space. Okay. So it can define your own spin rate and also give them a bit of variation. Let's see. Oops. All right, so what we can do is uh, have then the same color. Okay, so simply copy and overwrite it. The display. Okay, so let me play blast our animation all right so uh, here is the quick play blast of our animation so I think uh, this is good okay so our uh, next step is uh, to bake our animation okay so in this case this is pflow baking okay so for this you also need one more script which is pflow baker okay so which you can download from the script support side okay pflow baker okay so what it simply does it uh bake the particles to keyframes all right so let me show you run the script name pflow baker and here it's asks for pflow to Bake. Uh, so in this case uh, I haven't renamed my uh, particle so it is pflow source 01 okay and bake it so let me pause I will return back all right so the baking is done okay so let we off uh, our pf source because now we don't need any more okay so let's close this one also let's play it you see now the our my playback is very smooth okay because uh you know you do it don't have to calculate because everything is now keyframe all right so here is our keyframe okay so everything is running smooth and since particle flow is just turned off i don't need to calculate okay so simply what you need to do is now render this uh, animation give the proper materials okay Uh, this is as a simple one, simple materials. Yeah, 
and also let me hide this uh, space warps uh. all right so render the animation with the proper camera layouting okay now and what you simply need to do is uh, in after effects just reverse your animation all right Uh, let me show you this one to uh, 150 good cool. okay so the with this method the uh, there is lots of possibilities okay to create uh, this kind of transforming animation or maybe ca can say assemble or disassemble okay so um, i have created another example okay uh, with the same method which i would like to show you alright so let's see the setup for our text effects ok so here I have uh, the couple of text that I copied uh, from my facebook and it's just simple text that uh, thanks to you many of your friends are now on facebook so just create your own text ok so and make this a scale of 25 and uh, also align it to center okay and apply the extrude modifier zero point i guess zero point one is okay and also if you wish you can add, uh, Send the font to your liking okay so this is it and uh, convert the text to editable uh, not poly editable mess okay because uh, we need to uh, as this is a single object we need to detach ev ev uh, every single uh, letter all right so uh, let's uh, from the to mess let's select the element and select select the thing okay and here is the button name explored which will kind of means uh, detach everything from this element okay so click on the explore and give the name uh, in this case it is object or you might want to click, say all right letters and it will calculate all right so the calculation is done and now you can see that uh, our uh, element has our object letters had been had been uh, detached okay so what now we need to do is select all the letters and same thing as usual uh, I like I <coughs> show you in the beginning of the class <coughs> center the power okay and finally uh, reset X4 okay all right so let's convert all the thing to convert to polygon so convert to a table poly wait for a while yeah. all right so our uh, letters have been set up now the same thing uh, go to 
particle view create here particle flow empty flow and uh, board script under the board, board script now open your board scripts okay so this one was the camera and this one is later later so copy that thing and overwrite or you can simply say l e t t e r s letters okay so save it see the text or uh, the particle have been created okay so uh, let me make a selection set for our words so that I can hide them or unhide them easily. Select letters and say letters. Alright, so hide them uh, because we don't want them to see. We need the particles. Okay, so turn on the particles and display them as a geometry. Now see, uh, this uh, is the particle text right so next step is once again define their collision event so in this case there is a deflator uh, I uh, the one I saw in YouTube it was using X deflector so same thing I'm gonna create this X deflector go out to key and go to the end frame and increase uh, increase the diameter so that it passes through our text all right so what now we need to do is define our calls in event so it can simply happen from there also by right clicking and here is uh, where is uh, okay is this it is the test event so collision okay so collision add the deflector okay so on collision hit go to continue and same thing what you need to do is when co collide display them as a uh, red geometry so that we can know if our collision uh, or event are acting correct so in this case it is acting as I want so next step is to uh, define our force operators so here is our wind and okay so give them a bit of uh, turbulence or strain all right so these values depend upon you on what kind of motion you would like to create right so when collide uh, go to the next event and next event is our force okay and select the wind operator now let's see see very very good okay and also what you can define is uh, give them a bit of speed also so speed is above the wind give them a bit of variation and also divergence right okay so and also one more operator uh, is uh, we need to do have uh, is the rotation operator okay so in this case uh, I say 
uploaded it randomly all right so and also if you want you can add the spin operator and okay so give them a spin rate of 360 with a variation of maybe of 85 okay with random trading on okay uh, let's uh, have the same color okay so what I can do is same co copy this display geometry and overwrite here so one and so in both way the colors are the same so we don't see any flicker in the colors and also uh, let's make this win a bit directional right, maybe 0 0.4 okay so also you can do is go to our material later and give your own mat materials okay so let's say this is a text uh, let's say it is two sided and from here give the uh, put a metrostatic node and assign it okay so put on your lights and put on your cameras and go to the render right Good. Alright, so let's see the quick play blast. Alright, so here is our play blast. So the setup is okay. So what also you can do is uh, uh, you can play with the go to rotation operator so that uh, you won't get that this quick rotation going there. Okay. So it's all up to you now. Okay. So this is Sachin Josie signing off for now.